Hey everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. I am so excited uh, to be here to speak the Word of God, uh, to hope that the Word of God will just penetrate the lies of the enemy and open you up to know and see the truth of who you are. Man, I see some darkness. I see people believing the lies of the enemy and they are held hostage. I pray that you are free today. Free because Jesus already paid for your freedom. You are free, baby. Walk in your freedom today. In Jesus' name I pray. I want to talk to you about this verse in the Bible. It's 1 Corinthians 13, 11. It says, when I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man or a woman, I set away side childish things. So I want to talk to you about this verse today because I want to show you something. When we all have a family member or a friend or neighbor that comes over with the kids, right? And we have valuable things in our home, right? What do we do when we know the kids are coming over? We start to pick up the valuable things and put them in places where they can't be reached. Why? Because children don't know the value of certain things, right? And just in the same way, those children are not ready or don't know the value of those things. That's why we put them in high places. Just like our Heavenly Father. Sometimes we want certain things and sometimes we're not getting it. God's not saying no. He's just saying not yet. God will never give you a premature blessing in your life. He doesn't want to give you something that you don't know the value of because you're going to destroy it. So many times we get gifts from God and we are, first of all, unaware that they're gifts or we don't take care of them. Our health is one. Our, our, our homes, our family. And we don't take care of those things. I pray today that you start to focus on the gifts that God has already given you before you continue to ask him for things and you're waiting for certain things. If you ain't got it yet, you get better think maybe you're not ready for them. God is a good God. His, his promises are yes and amen in your life. I pray today that you set aside childish things and you start, to, it says wisdom is just knowledge, the application of knowledge. So you may know a lot, but if you're not applying it in your life, it ain't doing you no good. I tell people all the time, you may have a nice car in your garage, but unless you put the key in it, put some gas in it, get in it and put it in drive, you ain't going nowhere, baby. The car still stays there. So the word of God, unless it's activated, is not going to do you any good. I pray today in the name of Jesus that you start to activate the word of God in your life. It's amazing what happens when you release the word of God and you believe it. Oh, honey, I see miracles. Uh, I pray today that you release the word of God from your mouth and believe it in your heart and let God do what he does best, honey. And bless us. I love you guys. I am on Ready Road and uh, Application Avenue. Where are you at? Holla.